here is this video to the rescue. Hey warriors, I'm Ben and today on Android GameSpot I'll talk about my picks for the best MMORPG games released up to 2020. For this list, the games are ranked in no particular order and I'm curious what's your top 3. So let me know down in the comments below and just a quick reminder before we begin, I publish new videos every week so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell for everything mobile gaming. There may never be a World of Warcraft on mobile, but World of Kings is as close as it gets. As the start of the game you pick from 4 races, human, elf, orc or dwarf, and there are 9 classes to choose from that leads to more advanced subclasses once you hit level 30. Quests and combat wise you can turn off auto move but auto questing is a hit or miss especially if you try to tap your way through the dialogues. World of Kings has a massive amount of content for you to sink your teeth into. From gear upgrading to guild support, there are dungeons and raids to take on, a pet system that I personally enjoyed, the PvP modes include a 5v5 battlefield and a dual mode of 3v3 and 5v5. Also the game has an awesome soundtrack, a deep class system and a truly rewarding gameplay. Fans of World of Warcraft or not, this is a must play. If the name sounds familiar, it's because this is the sequel to the 2D browser RPG, Adventure Quest. The game is a classic fantasy MMORPG, you start with 3 classes, warrior, mage and rogue, and although it's a bit limited compared to other games in the genre, you can freely switch between classes at any point in the game. Another thing worth mentioning is that the game is cross-platform, so you can play the same character on PC, then switch to your Android phone, then tablet or iOS on the go. And the thing I personally enjoyed the most about this game is the party system. Adventure Quest has one of the easiest systems to party up with your friends with basically two taps of a finger. A game that doesn't need a beefed up Android or iOS device and is fun to play. I remember in the mid 2000s when I lived in Asia, all my classmates were playing MapleStory and I tried to jump in but was blocked by the language barrier. Thankfully I didn't have that problem with MapleStory M which is the mobile version of the 2D side scrolling MMORPG PC game. The mobile version has been optimized for touchscreen devices without losing touch with what made the original game so popular in the first place. We're talking cute anime style characters, colorful 2D levels and while many MMORPGs suffer from features like autoplay and auto quest, here it's a welcome addition as it would have been just way too many buttons to tap and keep track of on a smaller screen. Auto quest is unlocked from the get go and auto battle unlocks at level 20. Other features worth mentioning are the guilds with a big active player base and the dungeons to explore which are well designed and paced. MapleStory M is a must try for long time fans and newcomers. What seems like just another tap here and tap there MMORPG unfolds its massive amount of content once you unlock the kingdom. In Tales of Wind, which is the western release of the popular South Korean game La Pace M, the variety of things to do range from your standard dungeon to farming for your gear to full blown server wide quest that has a ton of players teaming up. Tales of Wind truly surprised me by the big variety of PvE and PvP quests to take and when you wanna take a load off, you'll be spending time in your very own farm, which is an awesome addition and plays like a size down version of Stardew Valley. In your farm you'll be planting seeds, baking goods, feeding animals and selling your produce and I found the switch between slaying monsters and the farming life a refreshingly nice change of pace. Highly recommend this one. There aren't that many monster hunter like games on mobile and the few ones we have aren't that good to begin with, but Rangers of Oblivion is that exception to the rule. Just like in the monster hunter games, here you will pick a class, proceed to the local smith, 
see what materials you require to craft that weapon or gear of your choice and go out to the wild to smash some gigantic monsters to get the materials. The combat mechanics are also pretty similar, there are slow but heavy damage swords, shielded lances, bows and even magic staffs which is where the game deviate a bit from its spiritual ancestor. Where Rangers of Oblivion also differs is the MMORPG features like the hub where you meet other players and complete quests, ride mounts, etc. Rangers of Oblivion is a Monster Hunter MMORPG hybrid that is loads of fun and it definitely deserves your attention. I was absolutely hooked on Dofus on PC back in the early 2000s, so when the French developer Enkama ported the game to mobile I was a happy camper and jumped right in. Dofus is an MMORPG with a camera angle and gameplay mechanic similar to Final Fantasy Tactics Advanced. In other words, you take turns planning your moves, whether it's to attack, heal, buff or debuff, or strategically reposition your player for total dominance. I really love the visuals of Dofus, the classes and it's worth noting that this is a full-fledged MMO where you can craft items, form or join a guild, there are factions, an economy system where you buy and sell stuff, skill points, stat points, a chat system and so much more. A game for the tactical turn-based combat fans. The first thing that will capture you with Ragnarok M are its stunning graphics and beyond that the massive load of content you can do in this game is nothing short of impressive. There are 6 classes to pick from which includes Thief, Archer or Mage and each class has 2 subclasses that are unlocked later in the game. The controls are neat and besides farming monsters for loot and XP, you can also do the story quest, side missions, daily missions, daily time rifts which are co-op PvE and more. And for those worried about the grindy nature of the game, well, auto combat is a fun way to bypass that altogether. One more thing that's worth noting is that there's a restriction on how long you can play every day, starting at 6 hours per day, with any unused playtime carrying over to the next day. It didn't bother me, but if you're planning to play this game for, say, an entire weekend or so, it might. Torum Online has been out for many years now and it is still one of the best MMORPGs you can play on mobile. Created by the Azobimo Inc, which is the MMORPG powerhouse behind Avabel Online, Iruna Online or the more recent Alchemia Story. Torum Online throws you in a massive open world with real-time gameplay and absolutely stunning anime style graphics. There is no class system here, so you have more freedom in customizing your character's looks skills, attributes and one of the four available types of weapons. Last but not least, the story is great and so is the soundtrack and there is still a huge active player base to team up with and explore this beautiful world. Dragon Nest M is the direct port of the PC game Dragon Nest. At the start of the game you have a roster of 7 classes to choose from and the story begins. A storyline that changes based on the character you picked and you don't see that in many MMORPGs these days and that's a great touch. Another thing that will please the fans is the combat. There is no auto combat here and the combat is skill based meaning that low level players can in fact defeat higher level ones with pure skill. Also auto quest only works when you're finding your way to an NPC, whether it's to start up or finish a quest, also it works on your way to a quest location and that's about it. The graphics aren't the best from this list but they're decent enough and you can choose from 3 camera angles, 2.5D, 3D and dynamic 3D which shakes things up a bit. Dragon Nest M is one of the best MMORPGs to see the light of day this year, period. And before we check out the last game and my personal favorite, don't forget to turn on that notification bell for new videos every week. Dragon Raja by Tencent is an MMORPG out in 2020 and it does so many things better. No, way better than all of the others that it's in a league of its own. Let's begin with the visuals. The game is absolutely gorgeous. Not only that, but I felt like I was playing a PS4 game on my phone. Everything from the characters to the environment 
has been crafted with a high attention to detail. Story-wise, this is an MMORPG with an actual plot that will grip you and keep you playing for more. There are cutscenes that are beautiful, high quality voice acting and QTEs. The combat is simple enough to get you going rather quick and it's fast paced, action packed and flashy. The world is worth exploring on foot or in the wide range of vehicles you can ride around or customize if you like. And the side activities you can do like joining a club or perform in an after school dance show gives a vibe of Persona. Yes there are auto play and auto battle but you can simply turn both of these off and truly enjoy this masterpiece. In short Dragon Raja is easily the most visually impressive game ever released on mobile and beyond the graphics. There is an amazing game underneath with an engaging story, great battle mechanics and everything else an MMORPG on mobile should do right. And that sums up my picks for the best MMORPGs to play in 2020. And I'm curious, what's your top 3? Let's continue the discussion in the comment section down below. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, your likes are very much appreciated and subscribe. <laughs>